My name is Mike Reed. I went to Penn State a long time ago. Got a scholarship here to Penn State. Sports here, was tired most of the year, football. And then I was drafted by the Bengals in the first round and I'm back here working with John Simpkins and the wonderful Penn State Musical Theater program on a brand new musical called The Last Day. I started piano lessons when I was six years old. Uh, my grandmother down the hill had an old hand-carved upright piano that about three-quarters of the keys worked. But I remember banging on that thing and then asking at six for lessons. My uncles and my dad dragging that thing up the hill to the house. You know, this love of words and poetry and music was just, uh, there would be, there's nothing that would uh, calm it, there's nothing that would assuage it. You know, if you, the, the road to happiness is to be really wonderfully confident in something, and then maybe achievement will follow. I had a piano teacher. He was a gen one of the few geniuses I've ever. His name was Earl Wild. He's he's gone now. He had a wonderful career as a pianist, and Earl was a wildly flamboyant man. And I I learned as much from him as I learned from any coach. But uh, so I would take my lesson and then head down to practice. <laughs> Earl would always say to me, he would ask me after the lesson, "Do you have football rehearsal <laughs> today?" And I would say, rather than explain it to him, I would say, yes, I do, Earl, and I have to leave immediately to go get into my costume. <laughs> I've never actually, this group, I've never worked in theater with a group of people, forget kids, people who had this ability, musical, this kind of musical ability. John Simpkins runs the musical theater program here at Penn State. He was good friends with a woman I've written th theater with for decades named Sarah Schlesinger, and she said, kept talking to me about this guy, and yeah, 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 another director, you know. Um, and then he came to Red Bank, New Jersey. We had a show being produced there and met him, and it was instant. You know, you know you, you, you've had that where it's just like, oh, I've known this guy my whole life, even though I just met him. But what, I, what impresses me is the, the degree to which the language that John uses in talking to them about what a scene might need. I'm, I'm really impressed about working with John, how they, have, how they have animated, dramatically animated songs. I can put notes on a page. I can choose a melody. I can, Sarah can write a lyric. But to see the way they animate this dramatically in three dimensions on a stage takes the song to a level that you can't do as a writer. You can't write that. Oh, it's been amazing. I think the, I don't think any other musical theater student has had the opportunities that we have here at Penn State. Um, this initiative of having these writers come in from New York and working with us is honestly like, no money can buy this education. It's, I feel, as a rising senior, I feel so prepared to go into New York and get to do this type of work. I'm constantly, every day amazed at how brave they are, willing to go to places that you wouldn't think, how unbelievably talented they are, and the degree working with John Simpkins, that they take one-dimensional notes on a page and words on a page and bring it to stage and infuse it with a life that you can't put on the page. 